Hi, I'm Robbie Northman and this is my first video for the On The Hook Fishing YouTube channel. Today, we're out on my local venue, which is the Norfolk Broads, and we're going to target pike. And we're gonna target them on the fly. Hopefully we'll get a few. We've got some of the worst flooding I've seen in the region at the moment, but we've managed to get out on the river. And if the pike does fail, we're gonna have a little go for perch later in the evening. Fingers crossed we can show you a few fish today. Over the next 12 months, we're gonna document my fishing from salt water to fresh water, boat and bank. And hopefully you'll enjoy the start of this awesome series. So we're in the first swim of the day. Um, I've got my friend Scott on board. So we've got two rods having a crack at this and we've come up on some pike and they're sitting tight to tree cover. And I think the key is gonna be dropping right in up against the branches, just slowly drawing the fly out. Really, really moody. It's quite interesting how sometimes you quite often find pike will sit in shoals at this time of year, particularly when they're sort of migrating between different spots and different areas. Pike will sit quite quite densely in shoals and that's what we're finding today. Um, problem is when they're doing this kind of behaviour, they're not really feeding. They're just, they're just sort of there waiting, waiting for the next step in their sort of venture. So we're gonna keep moving, keep covering fish and hopefully find one or two that are feeding today. Um, it'd be cool if we can get a couple out of the first swim, but I've got plenty more areas in mind for the rest of the day. Ah, missed one. Burger. Burger, did you see the flash there? Yeah. Yeah, just had one on there. Super, super subtle, gentle take though. wasn't yeah hmm yeah I had a quick pull on them um, on that one we might just might just change the pattern just see if they respond to um, a brighter fly try a try a little wiggle tail right quick see if they a respond to a wiggle tail as we're not casting a million miles out here. <laughs> no, it's just, um, I mean, it's, it's tricky, mate. There, moody, moody fish. <laughs> Straight away on the wiggle tail. <laughs> uh, it's not a big one, but <laughs> it's a pike on the fly. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> I love these things. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, we'll net this one and show you guys a closer look at this fish. <laughs> there we go. It's not a big fish, but it'd be really cool to show you. Norfolk Broad's pike on the fly. And he's in the net. Woohoo! <laughs> For the start, we've already got a fish on the boat and we've barely been fishing an hour. Um, beautiful, beautiful little pike. Um, I'll just just take a hold of her while she's in the net. And we'll just we'll quickly pop that. We'll pop that fly out now so the danger's all out of the way and then and we haven't got to worry about that and yeah lovely lovely very feisty little pike on the fly absolute stunner <laughs> so we'll sip this one back and hopefully get a few more <laughs> these things just make me laugh when you gasp them it just sounds like you're flying a kite <laughs> <laughs> so that was um, that was interesting. I changed um, straight over to a wiggle tail, and instantly, I mean, absolutely instantly, I had a fish there. Not a huge one, but we'll take it. Um, so we'll try a few more runs through here with that wiggle tail fly, and see if we can tempt another fish or two. But that was cool. 
that was very cool. These things drop super, super slow and you just don't need any movement on a fly. And they could be super beneficial where lures often fail because of that slow sort of static presentation, particularly like, you know, with a load of flood water in the river, these fish are lethargic. And it's actually quite clear, the water, despite the severe amount of rain we've had, most of the runoff has already been pushed in so we're now just pushing clean rainwater through and I would say there's probably about three or four feet of visibility in the river at the moment which is incredible to think about after a flood really yeah so we're backing up the fly fishing with the live sonar as well so it's really interesting we can see what the fish are doing when they follow the fly which flies they like so you can quite quickly see whether the fish like the fly that you're using and swap to one that they're more responsive to and um, they do seem to like scott's really small bait fish palum but they they also seem to like my wiggle tail so perfect perfect and like the kind of retrieve I'm doing, I'm just keeping it dead simple. Like because they're lethargic, I'm just drawing like a foot of line at a time, then giving it like several seconds to sink. Whereas like when they're a bit more fired up, I might fish a bit quicker and sort of roly poly it back. But um, at the moment, like just drawing it dead slow and steady is absolutely fine for such a moody, grumpy pike. Uh, oh. Oh, lucky. <laughs> it's not fishing if you don't stick one in the tree. Give you some fresh ground to cover, Scott. New territory. How's that? <laughs> Both of us definitely deserve a fish. You've got a follower, mate, I think. Get him. Nice. Keep the pressure hard left away from the motor, mate. Okay, come over the top of the motor, mate. If not. <laughs> yeah, they go like stink on the fly. Go on, Scott. Bring it up. Ooh, a nice one. Best of the day so far. <laughs> Come on, he in. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wicked. Well done, mate. Okay, what happened, Scott? All right, this is my first pike on a fly. Got it on, on, on an unholy diver. My mate Robbie spotted it on the sonar following the fly, so I upped the strip rate. He just absolutely smashed it. So made up. Fantastic. Nice one. Well done, mate. Let's have a close look at this one. Yeah. It's a beautiful fish. Absolutely stunning, such intense yellows on this one. Great, and we'll nice. slip her back. Nice. Brilliant. Side. Whoa. <laughs> it's a smaller one than the first one. <laughs> but if you swing her towards me, I'll just get her unhooked for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just gonna put you guys back on my chest. <laughs> and we'll just um, we'll just manhandle this bike. Whoa, well done Scott. Lovely little bike. And there we go. That's the fly out. It's a beautiful little bike for Scott. <laughs> Let's slip him straight back. <laughs> I would like, I would, oh, there we go, <laughs> straight away, new, new swim and the fish straight away. Let's hold low on this one. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just move swims literally the last few seconds and um, first cast in the new swim and we're onto a fish. 
Sick of the bend in that road. Come on. Oh, it's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Go on, but uh, maybe not. No, <laughs> I got excited. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So we spoke about a little blue fly that I stole from Scott a little while ago, <laughs> and um, <laughs> there it is. He's definitely not getting this one back at the end of the day. Real strong fish, real fit and healthy. Pull that out. That can go over the side, and here we are. What a beautiful, beautiful looking pike. Absolutely stunning. Wonderful fins on this fish. It's actually a pug, got a little pug nose. <laughs> so there we go. We'll, um, we'll slip this one back in just a sec. <laughs> fish number four. And Pugsy, Pugsy, Pugsy. So the type of equipment that we're using for this pike for fly fishing is straightforward. I'm using a 10 weight rod, it's a graze one, it's got loads of power. It's a salt water model but it does just fine for pike fly fishing. I've paired that with a 9-10 size reel, got loads of backing on and I've got an intermediate line. I like an intermediate because it gives me lots of options and today being a bit windy and having a little bit of current I've added a little sink tip to that. It's a tungsten 7 inches per second and that makes that line perform a little bit more like how I want it to in this heavy current it gets it down nice and quick so the flies are really simple Scott tied some fantastic patterns in around a four inch size and then I've got a few shop bought ones as well so I've got a um, Paolo's wiggle tail I've got some Clydesdales I've got some um, doggies and yeah we're pretty well sorted with that little selection between us <laughs> crazy you can see one laid in against the um, fishing platform that's class. Might be the wrong side of that actually. Oh no, no, it followed. <laughs> Crazy. Got one. Got one. Well, hey! I spotted one laying up against the bank. And it's not a bad one actually. Well done, Scott. On, the new fly. on, on your um, on your Clydesdale perch. perch pattern. Wonderful. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. And I'll oh. we'll just take it by the leader there, and we'll we'll have a quick look, and we'll just pop the hook out here and there. Should be nice and straightforward. One. Scott's debarbed them, I've debarbed mine as well. Nice and easy. You do. <laughs> Try that wiggle tail in there. Giving this crazy bulk movement. Yeah, <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that SWAT followed. I just spotted him there and I thought I'd just, just cover him with that wiggle tail. Wow, he's going, going under the boat. <laughs> Full curve on that rod. It's all right, this is a 10 weight. We can give it lots of power and, and move it around as we need. Oh, gosh. Feels slightly heavier, this fish. I mean, we did say the target today was to get one in the low doubles, at least, or, or something close to a metre. Um, I don't think this is going to be our fish, but it's certainly not far off. Whoa, here he comes. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Cheers, Scott. Scott's just passed me the net. I can just, um, just swing her in, and she's in the net. <laughs> lovely. <job>. lovely. <laughs> On that wiggle tail. 
Um, I kind of cheated this one because it's a fish that had just followed Scott's fly and he'd covered it a few more times. I thought I'd cover it with something different and wallop. There we go, careful, careful. Nice and easy. And that's the fly out, beautiful. Beautiful broadland pike, such amazing fins. They're almost fiery. It's like they're ablaze on these fish with their purple gill plates as well. Amazing fish, amazing fish. We'll sip this one back and I think it's the end of our session on this one. We're gonna fish for some perch this afternoon. So what a way to end. Well, Scott's very kindly poured me a coffee after after quite a wicked little session. We fished through the warm part of the day and in total we managed seven fish between us and dropped a couple as well, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, we're going to call it now and go off and target some perch for the rest of the day. I'm really happy. I've had that one lovely fish and a cool little pug as well and then Scott's had his first pike on the fly, so you can't ask for much more than that for a good session. All in all, it was that wiggle tail that sort of done the bigger fish for me. But Scott's little blue fly is never getting that back that's staying in my box forever. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the first episode with me and there'll be plenty more to come. So stay tuned. <laughs>